Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's talk about the new episode of Vanderpump Rules Season 11, Episode 10. Let's get right into this. For me. Get the f*** away from me. Okay. Get the f*** away from me. Get the f*** away from me. Never f***ing look at me in the eye again, you f***ing piece of sh don't look at me in the eye. I see they were fighting. You already got it. It's been 10 weeks. Wow, you guys. 10 weeks. Let me just say, after watching the new Vanderpump Villa, this felt like I was watching a budget version. But let's talk about it because it was actually a pretty good explosive episode. So it starts with little scenes of everyone doing their individual thing. Some of the girls, Lala, Katie, and Allie, were doing some outdoor workout, Pilates type of thing. Lala then mentions an event that she's having. She's calling it a water tasting instead of wine. And she says that she's inviting everyone, including Tam Sandoval. Now, Katie puts a little stank face, but because that's the face she always has, I guess it was normal. So speaking of Sandoval, we then go over to his house. He was working out. In the kitchen, um, Ariana is there and Anne comes over, Tom's assistant. I'm telling y'all, this Anne looks like a dehydrated mess. She's thirsty. She wants to work for Ariana now, obviously for the clout. She seems nice, but it's kind of messed up for Ariana to, you know, even consider the idea of taking his assistant. But then again, maybe not since she refuses to go anywhere where he's not. You know, she's still living with him. So if she just says that she's going to, you know, stay in touch. Anne brought her little portfolio and, uh resume and whatnot so next up Schwartz goes over to Sheena and Brock's place with a plant which I love he's always bringing plants to people's houses that's so nice one of the things that Schwartz is realizing is that he wants to have kids soon because he's getting older and then Sheena gets on some tub that they have outside and they're just talking about the Katie of it all you know her sleeping with Schwartz is good for in Max so speaking of which we then see Ariana and Katie so Ariana is saying that after her and Anne had their little meeting Anne started to cry because Sandoval was hearing the conversation that they were having in the kitchen. And apparently um, he told her something about it. And then Katie wants to say that this is some sort of invasion of privacy. Mind you, this is his house too. But again, Katie also feels that what was an invasion of privacy was Sheena tracking Max's location to figure out that he was with Katie which I will agree and it was pretty creepy of Sheena to be looking at people's locations but Katie says for her it was kind of like payback for Schwartz kissing Raquel it's hypocritical but she doesn't seem to care also they will both be going to Lala's event even though they're not looking forward to seeing their exes then it's time for Lala's water to water tasting thing um they were literally there to taste water you guys can we have at least some food, some appetizers, something with bacon, just sparkling water? I mean, good for her, but that ain't gonna do it for me. Everybody was there. Katie is actually not mad at Brock because she feels like they're officially even. She talked about him a few years ago and now he did, so done with it. There is a man there with waters and he's doing like some magic tricks with them. He was like making the sparkling water t have different flavors and all that. So after that, James had ordered some pizzas. So Sandoval is helping him, you know, just like a normal person. And then someone said that they wanted ranch. The ranch was missing. So Tom goes quickly to ask the driver if they had any ranch. And then Ariana is making all these comments like he's doing too much. He's doing the most right now. Listen, Ariana, I love ranch with my pizza, okay? I need that ranch. So I appreciated him asking for that. Then the guys are outside. They're asking Tom how his dating is going. And then he says, you know, that the girl who he's been having a few dates with told him that Ariana was just, you know, talking all this crap about him, which we saw. It was all on camera a few episodes ago. The chicks are inside and they're asking Ariana what is going on with Anne because she is the middleman between them. So without her, what's going to happen? You know, Ariana is stuffing her face with a pizza and then she says, well, my lawyer will figure it out. And then Lala and Sheena are like, um, I don't think your lawyer's going to be bothering with who is upstairs and who is down, who can come in, who can come out. The hell wrong with you? Katie then goes outside to talk to her ex-husband, Tom Schwartz. I do think that deep down she felt a little bad that she slept with his friend Max. I think she knows it was wrong. But 
then they start to argue about what it was the cause of their marriage ending and then katie says that she you know she let so many things slide with schwartz and then schwartz says can we just start over and like not go to the past any longer she says i don't want to then she starts to like roast him about his shirt and they start laughing about it i don't know you guys this is the weirdest ex-husband and ex-wife dynamic i've ever seen it's actually kind of comical okay y'all now this started to get heated so ariana's still inside by this point everybody else is also making their way inside and then brock is asking about Anne as well and ariana says mind you sandoval was walking in and she says well the attempted dog murderer was eavesdropping Brock says, and who is that? And Sandoval says, she's referring to me. Now, he looked very upset, you know, being called that. Now, according to Ariana, she's calling him this because he left the dog in her room and the dog started eating anything it could find. Then Sandoval says, well, you haven't even emptied the litter box for about two years. They start to fight about this dumb stuff. And then she starts to scream at the top of her lungs, my lawyer will be dealing with you. And Sandoval says, well, tell your lawyer to be a little bit more professional because it's been about two months and y'all have not responded to my email. Then Ariana says, you left the door open the other night. <laughs> what is this? Then they start to scream and she says, get the F away from me. Don't even look at me. You almost killed my children. So Sandoval leaves and everyone was speechless. Listen, Ariana, if those were your children, you would have made sure that they were okay. What you need to do is go check into a behavioral hospital. Now, you guys, Lala Kent, I'm loving her this season. So in her confessional, she says, you know, yes, Anna Vosh shouldn't have gone into her room or anything. But Ariana, why do you have trash in the room? Throw your trash out. Didn't you do a trash bag commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Lala is the MVP, you guys. So then Sandoval, you know, he, he left and then he quickly calls Schwartz to say, did you see the rage that she had? This is what I've had to deal with for years. It's scary, honestly. So inside, they're telling Ariana that she's going to need to have grown-up conversations with him if they're going to continue to live together. And Ariana says that she won't talk to a narcissist, to a psychopath. Sounds like you're projecting, boo. What a crazy scene. But that was it. Then we pick up the next day. Again, people are doing their own little thing. We see Brock and Sheena. Ten episodes into the season, they're still struggling to find a babysitter slash nanny. The reason why Brock really wants a nanny is because he wants to kind of continue where he left off with his career. So then Sheena and Brock, they were organizing a beach day. And Sheena is saying that they're going to need to uninvite Tom Sandoval. And Brock asks why, and Sheena says, well, because look at what happened last night. And then Brock, rightfully so, says, no, you know, if Ariana can't handle him, she shouldn't be going to places then. She was doing the most yelling last night. Then Sheena wants to say, well, he made her be mad. Did you not listen? I can't with Sheena. I can't. She needs to grow a backbone. And at this point, she's behaving as Ariana's butt plug. Come on now. So then the next scene is in Ariana's house. One of the house designers comes over who like helped um, get the furniture and stuff. And they're going down the list, furniture by furniture, on who bought who. I can't imagine getting so much money from endorsements that you have to be so stingy over some tables and lamps. Be freaking for real. But the purpose of this is, you know, for them to calculate that and then put it as a counter offer to his offer of the house. Ugh. And this lady, Lucinda, another thirsty person. So then it is time for the beach day. That's fun. Although I didn't realize how hard it is to get to the beach. James was describing, he was like, y'all got to eat. It's traffic and then the parking. But anyway. They are, you know, coming over. They're setting everything up. People start to arrive. So then James wants to be funny. He draws a line in the sand. You know, one set for Tom, another for Ariana. And it's basically just guys versus girls. And Sandoval is saying something about him going to a singles night thing. You know, he was just talking to the guys. Um, and then somehow the girls interjected. And Schwartz, listen, he loves to um, tease Katie. And I think she low-key likes it as well. He's like... Why don't you come with me? So then Katie asks Sandoval, Sandoval, did you know that Sheena and Schwartz made out? 
And Sandoval says, oh, no, I didn't know that. And Chino says, well, to be honest, all the men here have tried to flirt with me, including you, Sandoval. And then Sandoval says something about flirting, and then Brock makes a Raquel joke. And then Ariana says, can we not have this conversation? I am disgusted. And then Sandoval says, I didn't bring it up. They did. Ariana says, well, the conversation is disgusting because of you. Then Katie once again says, Sandoval, I heard that you have fired Anne. He says, I never fired her. I told her to take a couple days off. Then James asks some question about the pets. Now, Ariana is claiming that she's the only parent to the cat and the dog. She says that she paid for the adoption papers. Since when do dogs have adoption papers? But listen, I don't know. He tries to defend himself, Sandoval, that is. She says, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. And he just walks away. And then, to make things worse, Ariana gets mad at the men. She says that they don't put him in check. And that they need to because he's a misogynist. Brock says, well, he just left. Like, he's definitely getting it from you. Like, why should we even say anything? And then Lala, who just happened to get there a little bit late, says something about him. You know, he's always going to be in defensive mode. And then Ariana says, don't play devil's advocate. I don't need you to do that. And, you know, she continues to go off about, you know, what, Sandoval and whatever. Listen, this was a crazy episode. I think it showed Ariana's true colors. This girl has always been like this, but because of this whole scandal... She thinks there's a good reason to, you know, it's a, it's a reason for her to be able to hide behind that. Um, and listen, if you're going to come on here telling me that I'm a hater, well, listen, if I'm a hater, I ain't doing nothing but hating on somebody who is a hater. Ariana needs help. Honestly, it's not okay what she's doing. This is verbal and emotional abuse towards him. What he did, I was talking to a friend of mine, um, shout out to Adam, and he said, you know, Sandoval ain't no saint, but Ariana... You're not Ariana Grande, and even if you were, you, you're not holier than thou, so calm down. But anyway, you guys, that was it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a great one. Bye.